guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. I'm Lisa, and you are at Creativity and Inspiration. I hope everybody's having an amazing day. This week is going to be an awesome week. We have a video planned for every day of the week, and I mean, it's a little bit of everything, so stay tuned for that. But let me clue you in. Tomorrow is going to be those three mirrors from my thrift haul, which I will link that video above. I'm going to take them from cute but nondescript mirrors to $600 knockoff mirrors. So be sure and hit that subscribe button down below and that little bell up there because you don't want to miss how I'm going to do that because you could do it too. But let's get into this video. Today we are talking coin wrappers. You know, the kind that you used to get from the bank and you would wrap up your money and then you would take it back to the bank. Well, that's what we're going to talk about. How to alter coin wrappers. These are great. You can use them in journals. You can use them on mixed media pieces. You can use them in planter. Plan you can use them in planners. You can use them as bookmarks. You can use them as notes. You can use them on your refrigerator. So they have a wide range of use. So let's get into this video and uh, get started. It depends on what you're going to use them for, what you want to do with them. Most of the time, you're going to leave them as a coin wrapper, which means just in this state right here, like this. But you're going to cover them. If you want to see the writing on them, of course, don't cover them on this side. You know, just cover them on the back side if you want to. Totally up to you however you want to do it. Now, I don't care to see the writing, so I'm going to cover this side and leave this side free and blank so if I want to scribble a note on the back I can do that. So I'm going to co cover this side just like we cover every other base thing with my base with my base materials which if you watch me you know my base materials are things like book pages, um, old patterns, music paper, any kind of scrap paper that I have that's a base paper and that's what I'm going to do. And this one I'm going to use kind of a mixture of just this book page I have out and this little piece of a vintage uh, pattern. I hope everybody, if you've been in the Northeast, you're safe from the um, blizzard that was going on. And if you're in the South, Texas specifically, I hope you guys stay safe over the next few days. I hope you don't get in another icebox situation. I hope, you know, everything goes better this time. And I know because my mom's in Texas, so I definitely, you know, want y'all to be safe. Okay, so I just tore some paper, and I'm going to glue it real quick. Oh my gosh, it's cold here though. And I mean, I know it's not as cold as like Blizzard and stuff, but it's down in the 30s here and it never gets in the 30s here. And besides that, my heater is broken and it's been broken for a week. And it's so hard sleeping at night because it's so cold. I mean, it's nice to sleep cold, but not where you're actually freezing. And me and my poor dogs, at least they have cute pajamas. If you want to see my dog in their cute pajamas, head over to my Instagram. Okay, and then I'm going to put some of this on there. Just to add a little more layers. I'm not going to layer it up too much because it's not a big surface, but I definitely want to add my base layer. Because it gives it some interest and it breaks up the kind of that brown-orangey color of the... Um, coin wrapper that I chose. Let me trim off the... So I have my base papers down. Now it's the next layer and that is our... it can be our final layer or it can be our our next... our pretty layer. It's going to add a little pop of color but it's still not going to be our final layer yet. And what I'm going to do is I have some of this cheesecloth right here in a strip that's coffee stained. And I'm just going to cut maybe a little strip of it off. Okay. And 
and I'm going to kind of scrunch it up because I want it to have some layers, some texture to it. And then I'm going to put a little color on top of that, like right there. And I'm just going to tear that. So let's put our, our cheesecloth down. Like I said, it is coffee stained. And I'm kind of wrinkling it up so it has... It's adding some texture and some movement. Okay, and then I'm gonna throw this piece of, it's a color of a flower on it. I'm gonna throw it on here to add a new pop of color. And then, okay, so that's our second layer. And you see we've added some texture and color with our second layer. Now we're gonna put on our final layer, which is gonna be our more color, more interest. And we can do this in several ways. We could add this homemade flower that I have, but it's kind of plain and it doesn't really pop. It gets lost. So what I think I'm gonna do, sorry, I need to put my glasses on, is I'm gonna add this little button sunburst kind of thing. And then I'm gonna put this ready-made flower on top of that if I get some of the yellow around it. Yeah, you do. Okay, I'm going to put that down at the bottom. And then I'm going to put a little mirror piece in the center. And that is going to be my real pop of bling. Okay, but you've noticed so far I've glued all this straight down onto the uh, coin wrapper, which is fine. It's altered. It's beautiful. Now I can use it. But what would I use this for? Well, before I glue that down, let's talk about that. Oh, look, that already glued down. Perfect. Well, all right, let me glue this down. And as I glue it down, I'm going to kind of fold up my flower some because I want to see more of that yellow. Remember, it's all about the layering. It's all about getting colors and making things stand out, adding interest, texture, movement. Okay. Okay. So there is my finished altered. So there we are. We have just a little bit more to add to this to finish it. Our leaf down here needs some leaves. Now we can add some green lace and kind of tuck it up under to add a leaf look. Or we could just use a very simple stamp, which is what I'm going to use, and kind of stick it. Kind of stick it under the flower like that and there we go this is our altered coin envelope now what could you use this for well you could poke a hole right here and this could be a tag you could use it as a bookmark you could use it as a refrigerator magnet just add a um just add magnets on the back. It would be a really cute refrigerator magnet. Like I said, poke a hole. It could be a tag. Or you could let this be a pocket. And you could glue this down onto a page or a mixed media canvas. And then you could stick another tag inside it like this. See? And it's perfect like that. So it's very, very versatile. And they turn out so cute. Okay. You could also use them as pockets after you get them decorated. Put them this way on the page of a journal like that. And it would be a little pocket at the bottom. You could turn it sideways and it could be like, oops. You could turn it sideways on your page and it would be like a tuck spot. You could even put it at the top of your page as a tuck spot once you get them altered. Another way you could use coin envelopes is to cut them and keep the writing and use that again as use that again as a pocket on your page or as a corner like tuck spot pocket kind of combined. 
You could also open up two like this and make this the front and another one would be the back cover of a notepad. Or you could leave them folded and put some paper in here and make like a little notepad. And that's what we're going to do next. So let's do that real quick. Okay, sorry, had to go get some paper. And just measure it out so it fits. And I got two kinds. I got a lined paper and a plain coffee dyed paper. Okay, I'm just going to line them up, hold it with my hand, just like that, and cut. Now, if you want it to be more exact, you could cut one at a time. You could use your paper cutter, whatever you want to do. Remember, I'm just here to give you inspiration. And everybody's creativity is different, which is what makes us all so amazing. Okay, once you get it cut like this, just fold it on that line that's natural because that's where it was. All I did, too, to get this opened was to cut down one side of the fold. That's all I did. And then when you open it up, you have a little notebook inside, and you can just staple it shut or you can sew it whatever you want again this will make a nice little like notepad in somebody's bag um it could be okay sorry we're back i had to do staple surgery which kind of stinks okay just staple it down and this would be a cute little notebook for a backpack or a purse or a different, you know, bag of any kind. And just for notes, you could put it in a journal. You could put it in a planner for notes if you needed some notes in there. So great uses for these little cute coin wrappers. Now, where can you get coin wrappers? You can get them at estate sales. You can get them at off of eBay, off of uh, Etsy. I, you might even be able to still get them from the banks. I'm not really sure because I know they don't like to take coins too much anymore. So guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, again, please hit that subscribe button down below and that little bell up top. You don't want to miss anything coming up this week on this channel. Also, head on over to Becoming Female. I have some great hacks for women over there. And head over to my art channel because I am talking about how to use everyday items that you didn't see on this channel, how to use them in creating art. So you don't want to miss out. Thanks for being here. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.